Hi right, guys, today we're doing the oil change on this tricky's truck. It's way past overdue. So, uh, without further ado, let's do this. We're gonna do oil change, and we're gonna try to do some of the uh, that um, greasing. So let's get to it. Make sure you do all the inspection under the truck make sure there's nothing going on i did all the inspection and guess what i found i got a wheel seal leaking again as y'all see red spot on the tire a bunch up there that's not good so i'm gonna my mechanic's on his way now so we'll see what he says Get you a little better view. Oh, but I don't hit my head again like I did earlier. You see it? See all the redness? See it up there? They bring what you got. Well, yeah. all right. Need to open these. There's two going on. The one right here. We're gonna open that one. That's one filter, and there's two more on the other end. Just do visual inspection or anything unusual. Then we're gonna grease it up. I'm gonna check some of the uh, joints, and we go from there. Five gallon bucket. No, I'm saying no, my radio, radio boy. I need a five gallon bucket. We normally hand tie this and then just a little snug when it's ready. But when you're ready to undo it, I already used the ratchet. I used half inch sock uh, ratchet with the seven eighths. Can you see it? So, uh, I've gotten loose. Now just slowly turn it. Be careful. Engine might be, if you just drove the truck, then engine might be hot. And it's all gonna be hot. So slowly just let it start dripping before you take it apart. Because if you take all of it apart at one time, it's gonna shoot the oil on your face. You don't want it, especially if it's hot oil. So just slowly turn it until you start seeing coming out. Then now, as you see barely dripping now so uh we're gonna clean the uh the plug make sure we wipe it out real good wipe around the uh oil thing real good and tighten it hand tight and then just use a ratchet just to snug a little bit this is the oil that came out so you get about five and a half gallon with the oil how dirty the oil is All right, so uh, it's a messy stuff. So what I use is half inch drive, 
I'm in half inch socket, ratchet with uh, seven eighths of the uh, socket to get that out. And then, once it's done dripping, this is what I do, because I am a little messy, as you see, there's oil on the ground. But I try, it's my concrete driveway, so I don't worry about it. Um. Alright, so, as I said, clean these out, make sure there's nothing left on it, clean your hand, clean that, where you're going to put the plug back in, make sure everything is clean, I mean obviously it's still going to keep dripping because there's no way for it to stop all the way unless you wait for hours. Everything is clean, make sure the threads are good. If there's nothing wrong with it, plug it back in. Make sure you don't cross thread anything. So that's why you gotta hand tighten it, just in case if it's going the wrong way or it's going crooked or it's, cause you don't want to mess that up. Put it on. Turn it as much as you can with your hand. Once you feel the resistance where you can't turn it with your hand no more, that's when you use the ratchet. Move this gavel out. If you can't, without spilling it. Well, this ain't gonna spill because it's not completely full, but still, you don't wanna spill it on you. All right, All right so take your ratchet. Make sure it's in the position where it's gonna close it. And just snug it, not too tight. Just snug it. Mm, mm, that's it. So that's that. Now we're gonna work on that oil filter. And like I said, there's two other filters on the other end. I got my son went to get some diesel. Cause on one of the filter, you gotta have a little bit of diesel in it in order to uh, to put it back on. All right, so let's get the uh, oil filter out. In order to do the oil filter, we're gonna need the bucket again. Use the same bucket. Put it somewhere underneath the here's the bucket. It's an oil filter, so just try to aim it. If you spill it, you spill it. I mean no well, it is what it is. And now comes the hard part, at least for me, to get these filters out. Alright. There's a filter that goes right here. Right there. There's a filter right here and make sure you have that that thing turned off so when i take these off i'll take these off i still couldn't get the oil filter out but we'll see what we could do all right so when you take this filter off obviously if you're someone like me who don't know what you're doing a lot you make a mark you see your mark it tells that i gotta turn the filter that direction to open it all right, so uh, the both says fuel filter on it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this one, the one that goes up like that, you got to put a diesel in it. But this one you don't. So let's get that one done. That's the old one. I always use this from O'Reilly. Just make sure you have the right part before you do anything else. Here's the diesel. That's part number. 33626. Make sure that's the same part number. 33626. So they're both the same. Before I put it on, I'm going to put today's date on it to make sure that I know when did I did it and how many miles. Okay. Right, we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Here's the old one. Make sure the number is right. Can you see it? 33358 is the new one. Make sure the number is right. 33358. Now, if you look at it, it's telling you to... 
upside down, my bad. If you look at it, it's telling you to put some oil or some diesel in it right there. But you can't, the reason behind it with this one is because you got to put it upside down. So if you put it, it'll defeat the purpose, it'll pour out. So we're not going to put it in here. You got to make sure you put this O-ring on here like that. Which the old one still on there. So you see the old one? The old one's still on there. I'm gonna take that off. I got the other one in. Today's date. I'm gonna miles on the truck. Gonna do the same thing on this. Gonna write it right here. I'm gonna clean that area up and then put the new one on. All right, as you see, we got the date. The filter on, kind of made a little twist here. I had to open it again in the future. That one's in, that one's in. I want to try one more time to get the other one open. If not, then uh, I don't know. We figure something out. Make sure you do all the inspection under the truck. Make sure there's nothing going on. I did all the inspection, and guess what I found? <laughs> I got a wheel seal leaking again. As y'all see, red spot on the tire. A bunch up there. That's not good. So I'm gonna, my mechanic's on his way now, so we'll see what he says. Get you a little better view. Oh, I don't hit my head again like I did earlier. You see it? See all the redness? See it up there? 